Hey guys, we're winding down. It's the e-bike extravaganza with Sam. And of course, High Bike is here. You guys have been so busy all day. We wanted to swing by when things slowed down a little bit, but like half the bikes are gone, right? People were just really snatching these things up. It's, uh, season's been great and we can't, can't complain. You know, it's been a strong year. It's good to see things are catching on. You know, folks are excited about the product and getting out there and riding. There's so many bikes to, yeah, there, there's the the one that has like the integrated battery that everyone's been asking about, kind of an urban. Oh yeah, the urban plus, yeah. Urban yeah, plus, yeah. Here. I haven't yeah, even checked yeah. that out yet. It's got the Trans X drive, a lot of Bosch, a lot of Yamaha. What's been more popular for you guys? You know, it's it's uh, become one of these things where it's you know what kind of wine do you like? Your white wine or a red wine? Right, kind of right. And that's what it boils down to. You know, people have their uh, you know their feelings, um, but we, we sell both with with almost equal uh, um, you know fervor. I mean, it's oh, really, nice you get choice, those, you know, word those. choice there. Is, is there any particular model that you guys have been? I, I noticed there's a little kid bike over there. That's really unique to you. So yeah, the hard four was uh, this was the uh, first year we brought that in. It's limited to 12 miles an hour. It's you know it's yeah. trying to get um, a little bit of that uh, uh, that family feeling going again. You know, mom and dad and the kids out there all riding together. You know, maybe mom and dad are on non e-bikes so the kids can keep up on this guy, or maybe they're all on e-bikes and it's. Yeah. You know, it's just uh, it's something that's really been uh, you know an off the charts hit in Europe. So we brought that over this year to um, you know see what we could do with it in this market. That's and, the market. Yeah, and it's uh, been well, positive. There's certainly plenty of choices for the for the grown ups with yeah, you guys. No, no question. <laughs> Sam, maybe you can talk about what's been popular here at the store. In so Fortune. high bikes become our best seller, and I think it's due greatly to the 2016 models getting blown out, and so. They're gonna be gone probably before Interbike, I would say. Yeah, but definitely. My favorite bike was the All Mountain um, RC. Yeah. At the price point that it was being sold at, it hit all the points for And the us. sizes, you had lots of options, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, we sold, I bet we sold over 50 of these total. Oh my And that's gosh. a lot of bikes for one dealer to sell. Um, this again was my personal bike. I put hundreds of miles on this bike and it fit me well and it did everything well. And this was the bike, I think High Bike was the one that was the first manufacturer to step it up, bring in lots of models, and I wasn't selling that many until I uh, took that out for a test ride. And after I got on it and rode it, I was giggling like a little girl because it reminded me of riding my motorcycle. The suspension, the componentry on the bike, it just takes everything to another level. Nice. So High Bike's been great for us as far as being able to uh, open up that market and now uh, in Orange County, everybody knows about the high bike brand, and they're coming in in droves to pick them up. You told me also that you know the Bosch and Yamaha motors are very reliable. They're the kind of thing that you, you maybe spend a little bit more money to buy up front, but then they last. And uh, in particular, Yamaha was. Doing I've money. never once had to even sniff a Yamaha motor. I mean, huh. they're rock solid, reliable. And I I personally prefer the Yamaha over the Bosch. Yeah. And uh, I have ridden Bosch. I see what the qualities and the the price difference for me, I would just spend, I save the thousand dollars and get the Yamaha. I'm a motorcyclist. I don't mind shifting more gears and keeping it in the power band as right, I ride. Right. Yeah. I really enjoy that uh, platform, and I and I enjoy what High Bike has to offer to the uh, the e-bike community. Do you guys have any quick updates before we head out, like about stuff we might see at Interbike or just any little extra? <laughs> You'll see some fun stuff in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're excited to bring the PWX drive system to the U.S. Uh, is that the Yamaha one? It is. So it's their new uh, Yamaha. Okay. So we'll have three different tiers of Yamaha for 2018. So. And that motor that you're talking about, I think the I don't know what you call these these older Yamaha motors, but they go to like 100 RPM. But I heard the new one goes to 120, it will. so it matches it will. Bosch. Yeah. That yeah. was my big gripe. It, so. it'll be interesting to, to uh, get you on it in a couple of weeks and get other folks' reaction, Sam's reaction, because I think uh, you know we've had such great success with the PW, and this is just going to build on that. So. I want to bring Steve into the conversation. Steve actually just retired this year, and he was a customer who had bought bike. He's bought multiple bikes from us, and his retirement present was actually a high bike. Really? And he goes out and rides almost on a daily basis down in Whiting Ranch. He lives in, I believe, it's Rancho Santa Margarita. Yes. When Kanika went to Thailand this year. Actually, Steve's the one that stepped up and volunteered and came in and helped to uh, run the shop while she was gone uh, in April and May. And Steve's now oh, stayed on on thanks, the weekends man. and helped us out a lot. I was going to say, you didn't seem retired today, buddy. You're out here <laughs> hustling. Yeah, he's retired this year, but he's a great guy to get feedback on the high bike line. And he's got some uh, additions that he's added to his high bike as well. Maybe you could expand on that a little bit. I added the uh, 50 tooth uh, rear 
derailleur gear and uh, put some carbon fiber rims on. Which I've was seen your bike in the back room. It is in the Dude, back room. Dude, those rims are worth more than the bike. I know, I know. It That's makes awesome. such a huge difference. L too. Lighter or what do they do? It's lighter, it's quicker, uh, steering is quicker, uh, going over rock gardens, the, the, the reflections off the rocks. Seem yeah, to, uh, less deflection, you're saying? Wow. It's, uh, Quite an improvement. That's awesome. Where did you get those rims? I got them from Box Components. Box Components. Which, uh, you've tried a bunch of high bikes, yeah? Yes. Which one do you own? I own the Bosch, uh, the Full 7 RX. What do you think about the motor thing, like I was talking about? Did you try them both? Why you did know, you go I, Bosch? I did I did try them both. I actually went on your review oh on, my gosh. on the Bosch. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> It's, I, I think there, friends of mine have the Yamaha. I think it's what you get used to. It's all about the cadence and where the torque curve is. Yeah. And, you know, what, what you get used to, where your cadence is, is how you ride your bike. And yeah. I, I think it's all... But you, you like it. It's You're having fun. I, I have a blast. I ride every day. Dude, that's awesome. And now you're getting to see some other people coming into the shop and paying that knowledge forward. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, I, I do it as a... Uh, uh, a fun thing to do uh, post retirement, yeah. and I just come in on Saturdays. Keeps his cardio and, and his fitness up. That's Keeps right. You're looking healthy, right? And, yeah, I lost yeah. 40 pounds. Sweet, sweet. I bought my first bike. I guess we've, you know, we've kind of exhausted. There's so many bikes we couldn't go through like each individual one, but there are some highlights. Are there any other highlights you want to call out that are unique to like the high bike line? They have some of the. The, the, the lighter colors, the more feminine look sometimes. It's, they have the they've kid They've got bike. a little of everything, man. Yeah. Just go into a high bike dealer in your local area and, and see what they have on their showroom floor mm -hmm. and check them out. I mean, one test ride and you're hooked. That's true. That's all it takes. They're quite good. I guess that's it, Brian. Are we signing out? Yeah, thank you. I, I just would like to thank Steve on camera here. I mean, I could not have done today. I mean, Sam brought in so many people today. I was overwhelmed without Steve's help. Uh, it would have been a long day. So What a better guy that, that rides every day, though, to talk about the product. Oh, that's that's the perfect true. guy to have Absolutely. on your showroom. Great floor. ambassador. He's yeah, a great he is, uh, closer on the high bike, and yeah. he sticks with the same customer until he makes that yeah. sell. You were when saying, yeah. I have 10 yeah. customers in the store, I'm bouncing around like a gumball, and Steve stays with the same guy with a nice, <laughs> mellow, you know tone of voice and he makes that sell he's a great salesman for us and you guys really support your your users like i've seen a bunch of people come in today and compliment the shop i this is a bit off off you know i i wanted to highlight this bike in particular it's got the magura suspension it's inverted so the stanchions are down here a little bit stiffer stanchion guards i think it also has the ex1 from sram that's eight sprockets with a really wide range that's the kind of stuff that I, I see first on a high bike usually. So let's, let's comment end. on this a little bit, Court. Yeah. When you get a bike like this from from ba from high bike. Yeah. If you don't get your pre-orders in, and if you don't get that thing ordered just after Interbike, you're not going to get it because those kind of bikes are sold out within a month huh. of them landing in the U.S. That's a good point. They, and this demo bike right here, that's the All Mountain 8.0 for those who are interested. You know, sprocket equalizing system right here. We got four bar horse link suspension, Fox. Well, I mean, it's just. This is tricked out all the way. Seat post dropper. Um, yeah, anyway, for me, it's kind of fun to see that stuff and high bikes, the higher end brand. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We'll see you at the Appreciate show. It.